You're very welcome to another vlog and uh, this time around uh, I'm doing a little bit of macro photography and I have been doing so for the past uh, month or so uh, revisiting uh, the summer meadow here at the East Coast Nature Reserve uh, in County Wicklow um, as I featured in a video of macro photography uh, about this time last year. Well if you remember from that uh, video uh, the meadow here uh, was being grazed by a uh, sheep and this time around there are no livestock in the meadow at all. And the lack of grazing in the field has meant that the meadow has blossomed. Um, and the grasses are tall, um, as tall as four, three, four, five foot. Uh, there's thistles here and there, knapweed, um, field buttercup, water mint is looking fantastic here uh, towards the end of July, start of August. Um, so the meadow really is a magical habitat. And, um, and I've been taking advantage of that. I've been coming down regularly, uh, very early in the morning when the meadow's dew soaked and the insects have spent the night in a torpid state and are ripe pickings really for photography. Uh, the only trouble is actually finding those insects. And that's been challenging with the amount of growth in the meadow because this year I don't have little islands here and there to search. It's across all of the grasses. The insects that frequent the meadow here are mostly common butterflies and dragonflies, um, such as ruddy darters and four spotted chasers. And the butterflies, there's not a huge selection of species. Um, we're talking about meadow browns, green veined whites and uh, ringlets predominantly. Um, but just the meadow itself is the real star of the show uh, every time I come down here. And I spend more and more time every, with every trip because just sitting in the meadow and I'm sure you can hear the quietness around me. There's not a soul around. You can hear a wood pigeon in the distance and some insects buzzing around. It's about six o'clock or so, six in the evening. And um, the temperature's dropped compared to the last three or four weeks. Um, so it's about 13, 14 degrees, but very still. I'm quite hopeful to find some insects this evening. And this year, um, I'm experimenting um, with a slightly different technique, if you will. Um, and instead of my usual 200 mil uh, Nikon uh, F4 macro lens, uh, I've switched to a 135mm lens, a fast lens, f2, the Zeiss APO sonar. And the reason I've done that is to showcase the meadow. Um, I'm also shooting at that uh, quite large aperture of f2. And the reason for this is that the meadow can be quite busy um, at a, a smaller aperture, such as f8 or f9. And it takes away from the insect and it takes away from the meadow. So I'm going for a very impressionistic uh, type of image where the meadow is pure bokeh in the background. And that presents another challenge with photographing the insects at F2 um, because we may need six, seven, eight shots and hoping for the insect to stay still during the time when I'm manually stacking those images. Now, the way I do that is basically start at the point of the insect that's closest to me, uh, such as uh, a wingtip, and then work gradually um, from the wingtip to the far wingtip, ensuring that the tail, the end of the tail, and the head uh, are in focus. And then hopefully, uh, with a wing and a prayer, I take that home and they all uh, stitch together uh, in Photoshop. So that's the approach, and I'm really happy with some of the images I've been getting. They're very simple images. Um, but the, my focus, and even when looking for insects through the meadow, I'm looking not so much for an insect, but an insect that's positioned where the light is kind to it and the meadow around. And, um, and after a while, you do get a feel for what the bokeh will look like, depending on the plants uh, that the insect is uh, alighted on and the plants that are in uh, the background. So uh, this evening, I'm just gonna wander around. There's plenty of butterflies flying up. The light's quite uh, dim. Uh, it's heavily overcast. 
I wouldn't be surprised if I get a little bit of rain or thunder uh, soon, but there's no wind, so it's perfect for macro photography. So let's see what we can find, and uh, I'll walk you through exactly how I set up um, the camera and the tripod. At So the meadow's absolutely soaked and so am I. Um, but I've brought a little stool with me and I've found a beautiful green veined white. The light has just dipped over the trees so it's soft light, it's not direct. And there's actually two or three more settled in the, in the grass and I'm quite confident they're going nowhere. So I can set up my stool, my tripod here and the camera and focus carefully on the insect uh, to get that image. And the grasses here um, are absolutely beautiful. Very soft brown colours and greens uh, in the background. So the image is very subtle. The butterfly itself, the green veined whites, are very subtle. And let me just bring the uh, vlogging camera here up to the back of my main camera so you can see the composition. And you'll notice the insect is very small there. And that's um, purposeful. Um, Again, trying to showcase that bokeh in the in the meadow at f2 or so. And I'll probably only have to take uh, one or two shots to get this insect uh, uh, in focus and sharp. So as you can see, I've positioned the insect on the right third, dead center, um, and that's really it. As simple as, um, but it's beautiful, and that's what I've been after. Those types of images, um, just please me and I'm really happy with those types of images and really the bonus here is sitting in the meadow and I'm watching some moths there's another two or three larger whites to the left of me and I could work this area for a half an hour or so quite happily so the distance between the camera it's a 135 mm lens and the insect is about two and a half feet or so and I'll just bring the vlogging camera over the main camera and let's just see where it is and you can see there it's coming into center of frame there and again i'm quite confident it's not going to fly anywhere so i'm going to potter away here with this chap and a, a few of his friends over here for the next half hour or so and then we'll try to find uh, something else as the sun moves across the meadow and i'll try to play that line you know between the shaded area and the bright area. At the moment, I'm certainly in the shade, but that's okay too. So I found a meadow brown um, on a stalk of grass and really that's the only thing that's in the scene. There's one or two little stalks of grass, the meadow brown sitting upon them, the sun slightly backlighting, um, though the sun has dipped uh, be behind the trees, so no direct sunlight. And what I wanted to do was just to compare um, an image at f2, and even though I might have to stack one or two images here, still flat onto the screen, and an image at f10. And I'm really trying to demonstrate um, how much more beautiful the meadow looks at F2 with that bokeh, and how more, uh, and how much more dominant the insect is in an image like that. So it goes against all uh, macro photography logic. We tend to shoot at F9 and F10 to ensure that the insect's sharp from front to back. And even then you may have to take two, three, four images. But by stepping back, I feel you get a more beautiful image. The uh, uh, insect 
is visible within its environment rather than a very close-up image of a, a butterfly. So it's something that I have persisted with over the past month. Um, so he's still there, but I'm going to leave the vlog there this time around and I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you join me uh, next time. I'm not sure where I'll be next time. I'm waiting for a, a Nikon D810 to be delivered um, a conversion to uh, infrared 720nm. So uh, before the autumn colors come, that might give me some opportunity for some landscape photography. At the same time, um, wading birds are migrating uh, south to their wintering grounds. So I'm tempted to go down to Tecumseh. So I'm sure the next vlog will either be uh, one of those or maybe a combination. How about wading birds uh, via infrared? That would be unusual. So uh, until then, thanks very much for watching. 